Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. Right. so uh, this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and as well Pisces Rising uh, weekly general tarot readings for the upcoming week and uh, just want to remind you here that uh, as a general readings indeed uh, those readings are going to show or unra unravel rather the uh, energies and as well the potentials that you can unfold but if you do have a better plan or you just don't don't like it by all means just do whatever you feel is best for you so uh, first reading that I'm gonna do for you guys is going to be your uh, love reading and uh, the first card in terms of love is going to be the Knight of Swords uh, followed by the Six of Swords moving next we do have the Five of Cups and the last one for you that will be the Queen of Pentacles those three those four cards um, that Queen of Pentacles messes up the things a little bit because before I drew the Queen of Pentacles the message was pretty clear and it was that you pretty much have to do whatever you feel is right and there is no other way to say it okay so because um, if you do see guidance that is exactly what the guidance should be for nobody can make decisions for you and whatever you feel is right the person that you are chasing for example you feel that it is this is the right thing for you to do or you feel that it is the right thing for you to do to split up with your uh, girlfriend or with your boyfriend or if you feel that the right thing to do is to have a child with that person etc etc that is uh, that is exactly what you should do but because we do have the six of swords into the second position at least for that week you should not be aggressive but you should stick to what you already know about the person you are with about the person that you want to be with or about yourself should you have no person of interest whatsoever so you should not make any leap toward the unknown that is uh, what i am trying to say for the week is um more or less uh, meant for you to chew down to 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 heal from a previous disappointments and those previous disappointments could took place many years ago but a bottom line is that moving into the future looking at this reading here you cannot compare the future or aspects of the future with remnants from the past so a uh, good thing about the week it is that whatever happens there you know whatever circumstances you go through uh, or whatever enterprises you are involved into uh, regardless of how they uh, how they are going to take place and how they are to unfold un unfold i'm sorry nothing will be rather able to bring down your spirit if i may say it that way so it's highly highly unlikely that you are going to end up severely disappointed or you are going to lose anything especially if it comes to part of one's heart so uh, it's highly unlikely that throughout the week you are going to suffer a heartache and because you're not going to be turned down that of course can happen but even if that's the case even if you get denied in terms of starting a relationship or you find out that your uh, emotions your love is not shared uh, that is not going to be a prerequisite for you to pretty much feel bad because you would know that uh, you did everything you could and now at least you do know how the things really stand and you ain't gonna waste time anymore uh, that comes from the knights of pentacle uh, knights of swords i'm sorry and that card um it's kind of 
how can I say, misunderstood in many cases. For yeah, it's true, the Knight of Swords is very logically oriented. That is a person who has a very sharp mind, and that refers to you, for this is the prime card, okay? So you are gonna cling to your sharp mind and intellectual strength to tackle with your love life. But isn't it logical that you have to do whatever you feel is right, whatever you feel is good for you to do? That is the most logical thing, isn't it? So that's why your decisions and your actions need to be consulted with your emotions as well. So if you don't feel that what you are doing is right, then you have to stop doing it. Or if you feel that what you are about to do is right for you to do, you have to do it, okay? And uh, at the end, you're gonna end up in a, some kind of a situation in terms of your love life that has a, a lot of a potential. Uh, and uh, the fact that we do have the Queen of Pentacles there shows that you alone are not going to realize how big that potential is. So if you are single and you do end up with somebody by the end of the week, then that relationship has a tremendous, tremendous potential. Say you divorce, well, that also has a tremendous potential for your love life, which means that you are gonna find somebody else that will be better than your current one, okay? So whatever your actions are, uh, and you feel poignant about them because you may feel with your back against the wall that is the only thing that you can do, that is your logic telling you what you need to do and, uh, and you feel, how can I say, that, that it is right for you to do. It doesn't mean that you have to feel good about it, but it has to feel right for you to do. And once you do it, well, then you are to unblock yourself, to uh, pretty much unfold your love life for the future to take place and to pretty much dapple it with uh, with colors, okay? So if you have to make the tough call, but what I'm saying here is that if you do have to make a tough call throughout the week for separation or to sacrifice something to be with someone, um, you are not losing, That this is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you are sacrificing something small for to get something big. So, um, that was your love life just give me a second to regain control over my camera here um so that was your love life and uh next thing that we are going to look uh is going to be your uh your career Right, so the first one that we do have in terms of career is going to be the Seven of Wands, uh, followed by the Four of Cups. Moving next, we do have the Two of Wands. And the last one for you guys, that will be the Sun card. Wow, so, okay. Um, where do I begin from? Right, so first thing first, uh, this uh, week, career-wise is going to be a rather excelling week, especially for those who are already having a job. Um, they are going to sit on rather good accomplishments and those accomplishments are to be recognized and that will be exactly the problem. Not your problem, your colleague's problem. So it's highly likely that throughout the week some surreptitious and really nefarious things may start going behind the curtains that are meant to pretty much depose you or rather like to sabotage your work. And uh, you are going to immediately know about uh, these activities through rumors or through signs, you know, through red flags, regardless. It's very important not to second guess yourself, but to, but to jump into action straight away. I mean, you have to address your, these issues because they are your issues immediately. Uh, because otherwise they are going to escalate uh, very quickly, rapidly, I would say, uh, to a point where there will be no uh, no fixing it and no solving it. So whenever you hear that somebody is uh, talking behind your back, 
confront it. Whatever you suspect that somebody is messing around with your projects, confront it. You know, uh, whenever you, uh, if you do, um, how can I say, if you do hear that, say your supervisor is mandating somebody else for a promotion that you deserve, confront that as well. Because otherwise, if you do keep the silent treatment here, things are not going to work out very well for you. Aside from that, at the start of the reading, I said that you are rather sitting on a good accomplishment. Uh, accomplishments, recent accomplishments. And those accomplishments are somewhat, you have to look at them as a, a key that will open you doors. Therefore, you should not stop here, but try to expand on those accomplishments, stepping on them and growing bigger and bigger on them. Don't try to do new accomplishments. That is what, uh, that is what I am trying to say. Um, <clears throat> The, the question here, because we do have the Four of Cups, the question here is how? And that's the problem. At the start, you may not see the way how. So it's very likely that at the start of the week, you are to find yourself accomplishing those, uh, those endeavors, being stuck in the routine, maintaining those endeavors without expanding them. I'm going to sneeze. Sneeze alert, guys. No. Oh. Excuse me. So, where was I? Yeah, uh, 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 when you do have your the, these accomplish those uh, those endeavors, like I said, you're gonna be stuck into the routine of maintaining them, not seeing how exactly to expand them, and there it is required a acute intellectual strength and abilities. You have to work smart rather than to work hard. That is the way, okay? And uh, that will lead you at the end of the week, which is the Sun card. And the Sun card stands for only two things for you. Growth, expanding growth, and monetary success. But above everything else, these accomplishments are going to start unfolding themselves naturally. So look at those accomplishments that you are sitting on at the start of the week as a snowball and that ball starts rolling and becomes bigger and bigger, bigger to a point that it becomes so compelling that uh, you become the irreplaceable asset into your company. Okay, so make sure you step on your achievements and you expand on those achievements instead of trying to prove yourself elsewhere. That's there, the odds are anybody's guess. Uh, those that are looking for uh, looking for work, whatever idea they do have for work, they should press into that um, uh, into that direction because by the end of the week they should have a rather good uh, opportunity to start the job. Hopefully, you will be able to catch it. So uh, that being said, Pisces, this was your a uh, weekly general tarot readings, guys. Uh, hopefully, you do enjoy them and you do like them, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.